When I walk into Skid Row, I'm overwhelmed with guilt and shame that a place like Skid Row exists in walking distance of one of the greatest concert halls in the world. For the people who experience chronic homelessness, music is not a form of entertainment, it's a lifeline. And when we make music in Skid Row, it's not about doing something for the homeless. It's about understanding our neighbor. Making music at Walt Disney Concert Hall with the LA Philharmonic is sacred to me. I get to sit with some of the greatest musicians in the country and present something transcendent to an audience almost like I'm putting something on a pedestal. And making music in Skid Row is actually about taking that product off the pedestal. Street Symphony is an initiative that brings live musical performances, teaching artistry, and storytelling to people who are impacted by homelessness and incarceration in LA County. It's comprised of some of the greatest musicians living and working in Los Angeles today. And to date, has performed over 500 free concerts in Skid Row clinics and shelters, as well as in all five Los Angeles County jails. It's as much our job to play in the concert hall as it is to play in Skid Row. I can't talk about the origins of Street Symphony without talking about Nathaniel Ayers, who was the subject of a book and a movie called The Soloist. Nathaniel was one of the first black men to ever study at the Juilliard School. And in his junior year, he was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. And he ended up living in the Second Street Tunnel in walking distance of Walt Disney Concert Hall. When I joined the LA Philharmonic, I was asked to become Nathaniel's violin teacher. And then eventually, we started having these lessons in Skid Row. I started asking the questions of how many more Nathaniels are out here. Because every single person deserves access to their creative and expressive life. It's our job to show up to find who those voices are. For people who have experienced pain, the arts are a redemptive connection back to feeling like their stories and their lives and their neighborhoods matter. Every street symphony event has a performative aspect, but also a chance for the audiences to tell their stories, to tell us performers how they've received that music. In that moment, I'm just a man standing there with a violin. And all I have to offer through that instrument is my fullest humanity. <laughs> 